Welcome back to the Booze Buddy Update for Monday, July 5th of 2022. That wet dog smell, mustard for your seltzer, and an untanned beer. It's brought to you by Green Mountain Payments, helping local business owners save thousands of dollars by providing complimentary credit card processing equipment and zero-cost credit card processing. Visit GreenMountainPayments.com or POSN0.com today. Well, that wet dog smell may not be coming actually from your dog. It might be coming from your bottle. Turns out those pretty crystal clear bottles allow your wine to spoil and it can lead to a wet cardboard or even a wet dog smell pouring out of the bottle along with your hopes of having a good glass of wine. Light strike is to blame and it's the same effect that makes beer smell and taste skunked when blue light and ultraviolet light gets in and makes stuff funky in the bad way. Experts say the wet dog smell is one of the better ones when it gets really bad with wine. It can smell like rotten eggs, bad cheese, or even sewage. Now you know why wine is kept in those dark colored glasses and they tested to see how long it would take to turn a good wine bad and it's not as long as you might think. You can check out more at the link that is in the show notes on what to look for in your bottles. And mustard for your seltzer? It might go well. <laughs> I just had to talk about this one after Joey Chestnut once again ate enough hot dogs to probably make at least one batch of this stuff. A brewery in Texas is making seltzer from leftover hot dog water. They have the history of using odd ingredients like salsa verde and mustard pickles. Heck, your whole meal might have a beverage that could stand in its place. Martin House Brewing Company is launching their Awesome Sauce Heart Seltzers this month. So look for Awesome Sauce Bun Length. It's a 5.2% ABV heart seltzer made with a leftover water from 52 pounds of boiled frankfurters and tastes exactly what you'd expect it to. They actually tried to make a beer first, but it must not have had that taste of hot dogs they were looking for. Oh, and yes, they will be making a best made pickle mustard beer to pair with it. You can find out more about the weirdness at that brewery, which honestly I love and I hope it's available by mail order at the link in the show notes. And an untanned beer? Okay, maybe we should just call it a pale ale. The kind of beer I like to refer to as one of the lawnmower beers or dad beers I like to drink. Lower ABV, not quite as big, bold, or hoppy as an IPA, making it a really easier drinking beer. These are considered by the folks who put this list together some of the best you can get. And honestly, I don't believe I've tasted or even seen many of these. So maybe the next time I'm out shopping, I'll have to take a look and see if these have a place on my patio as a refresher so I can continue actually rebuilding it and don't have some high <laughs> ABV. 8%er knocking me back into my easy chair. Uh, let's see, you could check out the list of beers including Kaiju Crush, Grifter, and Newtowner at the link that is in the show notes. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't drink and drive, stay safe, drive sober, and support the booze that supports your local community. And I'll be back again tomorrow.